Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rick. Check it out. I just picked up this decommissioned police car from the fleet auction. It is a 2016 Ford Taurus police interceptor sedan. I'm going to fully search this vehicle and figure out what was left behind. What did it come with? What am I going to do with her? We're going to figure that out right now check her out ain't she a beauty looks like a typical squad car i just drove like 700 miles to go pick this thing up i was up all day all night laced on energy drinks and fast food so let's cross our fingers and hope that it was worth it oh look at this this thing is spilling some type of oil from under here so according to the website the vehicle starts let's find out Okay, so the battery was dead and when I was jumping the car, I noticed a few of the fuses were either missing or blown. So I went and replaced right them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. 73,000 miles. <laughs> okay, she sounds very smooth even though the EGR thing is missing right there. See that? Still sounds very smooth and it looks like the heater is working really good okay let's take a look around we've got a, a Whelan siren speaker we have Whelan vertex hideaway lights looks like she's number 565 some type of sheriff vehicle from an unknown county these center caps look brand spanking new nice don't know what happened here we got some type of Havis storage container back there hopefully it's full of biscuits looks like it was in some sort of accident hopefully the frame's not bent let's take a quick look inside okay let me set up the ramps and bring her down okay it started leaking even worse i need to hurry and get this down So the broken cooling line must have leaked out all the transmission fluid because the car was uh -oh. not shifting. Eventually it pushed through, but hopefully I didn't ruin the transmission. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. Oh, looky what we have here. All right. Okay, I'm gonna light this thing up, but first I'm gonna make some cuts. Ooh, it's red. I wasn't expecting that. All right, I'm excited about searching this and I need to figure out is this car even repairable considering the circumstances <laughs> and it smells like moldy mud in here. Oh, I love the center console. I may just add it to my Taurus project. This right here is a Santa Cruz gun lock designed for a AR-15 rifle. This looks like a Satina partitioner. A Whelan traffic advisor. Very nice. All right, we'll put that right out here. This is uh, some type of uh, recording device. They'll probably wear it on their body. What in the world happened here? So it looks like it looks like they were using this car for parts, but then all the parts are here. We removed all this to probably remove something hitting in the back or something. Because why take all these parts off and then just spread them across? It don't make any sense this Kio Sarah Ooh, this must have been like a burner phone that was that fuse I was missing look at this a wanted poster uh, wanted for homicide out of California unlawful flight to avoid prosecution this guy is an avid bodybuilder and heavy drinker <laughs> what a combination there okay let's take a look on the other side it's all of these parts here Okay, we got some sort of leg holster. Okay, this actually looks like a leg holster for a taser, possibly for an X26. Check it out. I can clean all this up and resell it and make my money back. Uh, looks like a Gamber Johnson laptop mount base. Can't see much. I will have to remove this seat here in just a bit. Bolts. What's in here? Is this a... Uh, yes. Okay, so right here we have a tourniquet. These are used to be wrapped around your leg or arm. When you're bleeding profusively, 
this will stop the blood flow. What is this? Oh, these are more tourniquets. Oh, sweet. So we got three tourniquets. So. Shopping cart safety seat. How dangerous are shopping carts if you need a shopping cart safety seat? This is the dome light for up there. I don't know what it is, but it's wet. I got some wet 20 gauge shotgun Super X steel shot. Okay, so let's remove this center console. Okay, gotta make a few cuts and we'll get this out. Okay, this is a very nice Troy Products center console streamlight charger. Okay, easily reconnect that. Very nice. Here's the floor plate for this thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove the seats. <clears throat> and you know what? If for some reason I cannot put this car back together, I have parts for my other four Taurus. It's off. This forward. Get the bolts in the back. Ugh. Okay, what's this? Looks like a piece of a bulletproof vest. Safe defense body armor, size XXL. Uh, it doesn't say the level of protection. Hopefully we find the other piece in here. Looks like a pouch for a knife. <laughs> Damn, somebody's glasses. My mother says I'm a handsome boy. I gotta get all this water out of here. Oof. Just gonna disconnect this. Now this is weird. There's a tube full of water that goes into the seat. Never seen that before. Okay, this looks like a pretty good seat. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Copenhagen pouches. See, look, it's written right there. Can cause mouth cancer. You don't want that. Parking on public, $45. Where are you supposed to park at? Look at this. Two, two, three round. I have to build a collection here soon. I think all of this classifies as water damage because it's everywhere. Dear officer, we need you. That's it? Nice. All right, we're taking off the front seat now. This is a very nice seat. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put this one on the Taurus that I'm rebuilding. I am making a video of a full rebuild, all-in-one video, coming very soon. Look at this, it's bent. It's bent. Oh no, oh, this is bent too. Ooh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to put this back together. Oh, and this is messed up, this quarter panel. I mean, it can be done, but it's gonna cost more money than I can get out of this car. I mean, we're looking after replacing the doors, the airbags, restoring all this water damage, all these cables, the bumper, these lights are extremely expensive. We're looking at seven to eight thousand dollars in repairs alone. Definitely not worth it. So I am going to part this car out. Oh, look at that. Just noticed this right now. It's a uh, wheeling ion and the windshield's cracked. OK, let's pop all these off. If there's anything that you may need or that you want just leave me a comment down below i'm gonna be posting everything i will find you and i will get my reward okay so it got dark on me and it's only five freaking pitch black outside i'm gonna have to take drastic measures to take this door off so we're gonna have to do that tomorrow Okay, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. I'm gonna have to use some type of come along or something to force that out of there. Uh, I got funny man here that's about to help me out. So let's get to it. Yo bro, just chill with the attitude and do your job, okay? Jeez. All right, we got the hook in. We got it strapped up. Go ahead, funny man, hit it. 
moving the whole car okay so i added that stopper because the whole car was rolling let's continue let's go funny man let's go now this whole truck is moving oh great come on okay got this brick on there let's see what happens now it's still moving it's still dragging jeez okay i got an idea hey move it all to the concrete Okay, we got it all on the concrete where it's gonna be harder to drag. So let's see how this goes. Hit it! Still dragging the car. Jeez! How strong are these freaking doors? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's not budging. I attached it to here, so we can remove that piece at least. Okay. Oof. This makes things a little easier. Some's gotta give. Ouch. We're getting somewhere. Oh, look what we have here. Very nice. <laughs> yes, finally. I'm juiced. All right. Now I can get into the back okay let's take a quick look inside this whole system is coming out the whole prisoner partitioner all of this Ooh. this is a nice spotlight test that out looks like a cover of some sort face plate shoe groomer they arrested a shoe groomer poor guy Oh, hey, hey, here goes the other one for the other side. Now we have two of them. Whoa. Oh, no. The LED spotlight was in there getting soaked. Will it still work? Let's find out. Okay, let's see if this thing lights up or it might blow up. One of the two. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what's happening? It did light up a, a little bit. I better stop. I better stop. Ooh, it welded that thing closed for a second. Okay, I'll stop. Ooh. An ammo pouch. It's empty, but moldy. Gross. I'm gonna wash it up. See if I can bring it back to life. Ooh, look back there. I didn't even notice that. Look at that. Let's remove it. Looks like a phoenix warning light very nice fusion stick now that is dope super bright i love it check this out so they got rid of the gas cap they have capless fuel systems now so you just stick it in and that's it okay so i'm gonna start removing the partitioner but it's gonna be a pain in the ass because most of these screws on here or security screws there's different types of screws to try to prevent prisoners from unbolting it and getting out it's a real nightmare for me but gotta do what you gotta do okay so it got dark on me again but i pretty much got the cage off just gotta pull it out took a while because of so many different security screws on this thing okay got the partitioner out down to the very last bolt this Santa Cruz gun lock. So it did come with a key. Let's test it out. There we go. Very nice. It could also be opened up electronically. Okay, now for some fun. I'm gonna remove the front bumper just to get to the siren speaker. Okay, got the front bumper off. The siren speaker is coming off. All right, very nice wheeling. SA315P with a wheel and bracket. All right, doors coming off. Okay, here we are the next day. And uh, gotta go through the trunk. 
somebody told me they seen this skinny dude, tweaker looking guy on top of my car trying to take this antenna thing right here, but they couldn't twist it off. <laughs> what the hell do you want that for? You're an idiot. Whoever it was, skinny dude, I don't know. Look at those chubby handprints up there. It's weird. All right, here we go. We got some caution tape. We got a spare tire here. Oh, here's the other piece to the bulletproof vest. Sweet. International armor expires in 2006. Oh, all right, let's uh, put this thing to the test here in just a bit. Here's the radio. What the heck is it doing in the trunk? Oh, this is a Slim Jim. This is used to open up doors when you get locked out. That could be useful. Let me try to pull that out. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a lot of water. That is a lot of water. Be able to get that water out of here. If I pop this up. Oh my goodness. Oof. Oh yeah, that's sprinkling all on my face right now. Oh wait, is that gas? Just kidding, no. Got gloves. Oh, this is like cutting wire. This could be very useful. Patrolpower.com. Hmm, that might be something important. Wheeling corner strobe. Oh, these are twist ons. Oh, nice. It's white. Pretty freaking cool. There's a fire extinguisher mount here. This is locked. So I think I have the key though. Let me go grab the keys. Since we're here, I'm going to show you this car I'm putting together. This is a 2007 Ford Crown Vic from San Francisco. Runs like a champ. It's just missing some parts. But I have everything here, as you can see. I have parts for everything galore. Look at that. I have doors, all the nuts and bolts. Everything I need is here. I just need time. That's all. All right. Let's get back. Please be a biscuit. And I ain't talking about bread. Snow chains. Even though there's no snow here. Oh. Is that what I... Yes, it is. Oh. It's a bulletproof plate. Oh, we're definitely going to be putting this thing to the test. Okay, so the plate goes inside. All right, so funny man volunteered to take a shot with the vest on. He suggested that I put the vest on, but I told him his arms are too short. So he's not going to be able to shoot the shotgun. Funny man was too big to ride in the car, so he rode in the top. Okay, funny man is ready. It's getting dark, so I gotta hurry. So I got slugs and a buckshot. Ideally, it'd be better if I had a handgun. <laughs> that last one has some kick. <laughs> okay, let's test the damage. Let's check out the damage. Oh, 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 this thing is hot. This thing is hot. It has the, oh, why is it bulging out? That's kind of weird. Let me see. Oh, is it backwards or something? No, no, no. Hey, yeah, <laughs> funny man's fine. Look at that, he's still smiling. <laughs> Look at this, whoa. Why is it bulging? That's what I wanna know. Mm. Yeah, I, I think wonder. it- It took the slug pretty good. Yeah, um, like you said it- was it, a range. Oh, it, uh, it was only like, I was probably like 10, 12 feet away. It seems oh. like it punched back. Yeah, you're right. This thing so, is oh, no joke. Did. It went in, it hit this, and it bounced back. Oh, wow. I think you're right. Look and at it this thing. It. Wow, this thing is... Superior. Yes, it is. This is a level four protection. Yeah. So, wow. International yeah. armor. Plug from a slug. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Not sponsored, by the way. 
Well, definitely, you got to have this because without it, he would have been toast. Oh, he would have history. Yeah. Do you feel one. how it bulged out? It's, it's bulging out. It, 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 it punched it, back. It punched back, yeah. So next video, I'll give you guys an update on this. All right. I'll see you guys. If you like videos like these, hit that like button, share it, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.